Okay. The first is that there's been a lot of ignorance, you know, about, you know, what has happened. And sophisticated ignorance. But I respect the fact that part of our responsibility is to continue to explain to people. The first thing to note is what a state pardon is not. When a state pardon does not mean that an individual was not convicted at a particular time. In fact, a state pardon means that you have been convicted for a particular crime, you have been punished. The pardon within the view of the Constitution means a forgiveness, you know, of what you have done and an opportunity to give you a chance to be reformed, to reintegrate back into society. So a man who has been given a state pardon, the fact still remains there that this particular person has been convicted of a crime, has served the punishment, but the state then has granted this pardon, which restores corporal rights. And what do I mean by corporal rights? It simply means, you know, that that person can be reintegrated into society. And it's a jurisprudential point about the issues of crime and punishment. What is the purpose of punishment in relation to crime? Right? You punish the individual, you create a deterrence, but the long term, in modern jurisprudence also, is to provide an opportunity for such persons to be reintegrated into society. You then ask the question, how are those persons selected? It varies from different countries, one country to the other. And almost every country has this provision. So what has been done is constitutional. Section 175 of the Constitution grants the President of Nigeria the powers, the prerogative to grant pardon, remission, commutal, reprieve, relief, all these are listed in the various sections of that uh, particular provision. Section 212 grants similar powers to the state governors. And that is why, you know, uh, almost every year you hear that the state governor goes to the prison and, you know, together with the chief judge, he frees some people. Now, again, it is not an act of uh, arbitrariness. There is a procedure. Persons who seek state pardon apply for it. They present their prayers through the Committee on the Prerogative of Mercy, which is chaired by the Attorney General of the Federation. This is then, recommendations are then made to the President. And the President, in his wisdom, will then take, you know, look at this, and then the Constitution says that the President can only act after consultation with the Council of State, subsection 2 of section 175. What the uh, framers of the law intended to do with that is to ensure that although the power is exercised within the discretion of the president, that there is no abuse, that there is proper consultation, that other people have an input, and at the end of the day, whatever the president decides to do will have been reviewed by other persons. And if you look at the constitution, at the composition of the uh, Council of State, you will see that these are persons who are serving governors, persons who are served at the highest levels of the country. So it is, there is a process, and there is a lot of wisdom involved. 